Did you get annoying messages on LinkedIn recently? You know, the Tinder for headhunters. Have you seen a salary this big before? Do you want to see my compensation package? But what would you think if you were working on a video game for years, then all of a sudden you get a LinkedIn message from your publisher to give you an offer to work at another studio on the very game you are currently developing. The employees of Start Your Games, the indie developing studio behind Kerbal Space Program, just found out this way that the publisher, Take Two, cancelled their contract. The LinkedIn message was about Take-Two setting up a new studio to keep working on the same game Star Theory had been developing, the highly anticipated Kerbal Space Program 2. And Take-Two was looking to hire all of Star Theory's development staff for it. Normally, these kind of announcements are communicated in a company-wide meeting or an email from Star Theory's leadership. Since the contract with Take-Two was the studio's only source of income and this meant that the independent studio was in serious trouble. Star Theory Games had been in discussions about selling the company to Take-Two, but they wanted a better offer. Well, as it turned out, this was one they couldn't refuse. Take-Two wrote in their message. This was an incredibly difficult decision for us to make, but it became necessary when we felt business circumstances might compromise the development, execution and integrity of the game. Uh, something is not right. Uh, it's not authentic at all. Uh, let's see like this. This was an incredibly difficult decision for us to make, but it became necessary when we felt business circumstances might compromise the development, execution and integrity of the game. Is it just me, or is that a much more accurate depiction? But jokes aside, I know that some of you are skeptical about how genuine this message is. You know, a big company devours an indie studio and says sorry. But I am certain that it was hard for Take-Two. Just think about it. Can you imagine how difficult it can be writing a death sentence for a studio why you are laughing so hard you cannot even stand. I mean, we are talking about laughing so hard they cannot move or think. We know it as a fact because in that state of mind, they did manage to name the new studio, you know, the one for which they planned to steal the employees and the IP, Intercept Games. I mean, seriously, how telling name is that? I can see how they are wiping tears of laughter with money after that brainstorming. But sadly, the tactic did work. Take-Two hired more than a third of Star Theory staff, including the studio head and creative director. And as the coronavirus pandemic hit the world, any hope of saving the business was lost and Star Theory closed its doors. So technically what happened was, Take-Two wanted to buy Star Theory's house and after he said he wanted a better offer for it, Take-Two shot him in the face and pried the keys from his dead hands. Oh, now I see what Take-Two stands for. First take the money, then take the employees. How could we be so blind? Ok, but why did this happen? We all know that big companies are using dirty tactics to increase their profits, but Star Theory was working with Take-Two for years and everything seemed to be fine. Maybe there were problems with the development? Well, according to Star Theory's employees, the development of Kerbal Space Program 2 was proceeding smoothly. A preview of the game left fans impressed and Take-Two gave great feedback to the team. Take-Two even agreed to extend Star Theory's development deadline by 6 months to add new content to the game and all seemed well until the project was pulled and the LinkedIn message went out. Then why? What was Take-Two's problem? Star Theory was a well-known and beloved indie studio with its IP who did deliver the promised high-quality product in time. I mean, everybody loves Star Theory. They were passionate about their game and they didn't want to put in microtransactions and pay DLCs at all and... Oh... Yeah... This might have been the problem. Damn. Now I understand why they said it became necessary when we felt business circumstances might compromise the profit <coughs> the game. So take two pulled the same old greedy company card so hard the entire gaming world was stunned by it. Even EA, pro tip take two, you shouldn't do things what makes EA say, I wish I had thought of that before. I mean, EA at least buys the brand and wears it as a suit made from the skin of its victim. As long as the fans are not realizing that it's not their beloved brand anymore, just the decaying remains of it. Uh, okay, that doesn't sound much better, does it? But why should you care about this, you ask? 
Because big monopoly companies are becoming price raisers on the market. They have the power to make weaker and smaller games for higher prices. Just wait and see how they will slice up the entire game they already developed, just to be released as DLCs later for higher profit. This is the same thing as in many other industries in the world. A good example is the sunglass industry, since 90% of big brands and retailer stores are owned by the same company, Luxottica. That is why the price of every sunglasses is 10 times higher today than 10 years ago. Why the production cost is lower. An American company Oakley gained traction with high quality and relatively cheap glasses. Then when they began to mean trouble for Luxottica, they did not sell their glasses in their stores anymore. Meaning 90% of American stores were not selling them. They couldn't reach the customers this way. So then Luxottica bought the new nearly bankrupt Oakley for a portion of its worth. And now they are setting the prices of the brand. If that sounds bad to you, here is how Luxottica's CEO talks about this. There were some issues between the two companies in uh, the beginning of the 2000s, but both of them understood that it was better to go along. Better to let you buy them. Uh, I wouldn't say this. We merged with Oakley in 2007. You bought so we're Oakley. Talking... They tried to compete and they lost, and then you bought them. I understand your theory, but they understood that life was better together. Ooh, that guy is like a serial killer. But I feel like something's missing though. Oh, I know! I understand your theory, but they understood that life was better together. Much better. So this is exactly what is happening in the gaming industry with Star Theory Games. The indie studio wanted to make a game with loads of content without any microtransactions, and Take-Two needed to stop that. Because it would have had the potential to show the gaming world that you don't need paywalls to be profitable. That it is possible to make a good game cheap. This is a fact that needs to be silenced at all costs by these monopolies. Because at the end of the day, everything is worth what people are ready to pay. Well, thank you for watching and please subscribe.